Good morning, y'all. Uh, today we have a regular, schmegular, regular day of experience. Sorry, I was turning my speakers off. Um, it is eleven twelve right now. Uh, by the way, when I when I quote the time in my vlogs and I say like it's about this time going on this time, it's because all the clocks in my house are fast. So I don't know. Don't I don't look, don't look at my unmade bed. All the clocks in my house are fast, so I never know exactly what time it is. But I know when I go back and do the edits, I'm gonna put the exact time. So, anyways, it's about eleven twelve right now. Um, I decided to get out of bed. You know, I sold my car yesterday, so today I'm about to go right down to this DMV and get her registered. Him or her, we haven't decided yet. Everybody's like, what did you name your car? What are you gonna name the car? And I've just been calling him Lou. I don't feel like Lou is like a cool or sporty enough name for the type of car that it is. However, my car, it was had one owner previously and it is he was purchased in Honolulu in Hawaii. So I've been naming I've been calling him Lou, short for Honolulu. Anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna I got my paperwork and everything together. I'm gonna go to the DMV and um the way they have the DMV set up is like you go basically tell them what you need and then they'll put you in the system and then they just text you and like you know your place in line every 20 minutes or so. So I don't even have to stay at the DMV. I wish I could, I want to go get my windows tinted today but I want to do that on a day when like my best friend is off or somebody else is with me so I can drop my car off there and then like hit it and leave and then just come back and pick it up because I don't want to be sitting at the window tinting place for 27 hours, okay? But, um, yeah, so we're about to go to the DMV. I am applying for custom license plates. <laughs> I'm not getting the traditional Nevada ones. I actually want to get the, I think it's like circa six, 1962, but they're like the classic Nevada ones where they're all, like, they don't have any picture on it. It's just all solid navy blue with, like, white letters. And I, because, you know, I, I my car is gray, and then I'm going to get everything blacked out, then the interior lights are blue, so then the license plates are going to be blue. So I just, my car going to be cute or whatever, so I'm applying for custom plates. Um, I'm going to get a little custom words on there or whatever. And yeah, so I'm gonna do all of this while I still got my cash, you know, from the sale in my pocket before I go and spend it on something else. I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm really not a spender like that. Like, I'm really good at saving. But I'm just be, I'm so excited to talk to you. I feel like I, I'll just go off and talk about everything. So yeah, let me get ready to go. So I got the smog um, from the dealer, I got my insurance, proof of insurance, and then I also have the report of sale. There was something else. Oh, and then I just need the registration application, but I'm going to get that from the DMV. Um, you can apply online for registration. However, since I'm getting um, custom plates, I have to do that in person. And I believe they said it takes eight to nine weeks for your plates to be made. Ugh. So, you know, new year, new license plates. <laughs> Look at ass. Oh, my headphones are on the charger. Let me grab those. Y'all know I don't go not a damn place without my headphones now. I don't like people talking to me when I'm out in public. I don't like listening to my environment. Call it what you want. If unsafe, irresponsible, whatever. I like being... What's the word? Oh my God, I can't even think of the word. What is that word when you're just like oblivious to my surroundings? That part. Adulting is so annoying. It's like if it's not one thing, it's another. You know, now that I jumped the hurdle, and it's crazy, the same day I sold my car, you know, jumped that hurdle, got that obstacle out of the way. Then I get an email from my apartments talk about uh, my renter's insurance expired, which is not expired, but the, the, the paperwork that they have goes until a certain date, and then after that, you have to resubmit the paperwork. <sighs> so now I'm running around trying to register the car, they up here threatening to charge me extra on my rent next month if I don't get the damn insurance thing paperwork submitted. So I figured I'll try to like kill two birds with one stone. I'm gonna go get my little number at the DMV and then while I while I wait for my turn, then I'll contact my insurance so they can send them um, the declaration and everything like that. Not that it's like a lot to do, but it's just, there's so many responsibilities. Like I feel like I can't just have a day to just like wake up and not worry about nothing. 
I gotta buy a car. I gotta get my car fixed. I gotta, you know, buy my groceries. Now I'm out of laundry detergent. I gotta pay my registration. I gotta get my, my, you know, gotta go to the DMV. And I gotta, once I sell my car, now I gotta renew my damn insurance on my apartment. And pretty soon, like, it's just, I just got a lot going on right now, okay? And I'm actually kind of glad it is Vlogmas. And, you know, this whole month I've just been vlogging because, let's be real, it takes a lot less um, time an effort to you know manufacture these vlogs to put up i'm not having to sit down in front of my camera for hours inside my room and be stagnant and not productive with my day so it's kind of cool that i can take you along with me while i get things done for the month of vlogmas so that is awesome but anyways we go to dmv now i can show you guys my my steering wheel cover i got you see it's um like carbon fiber looking and you can see, you see I have my Sade on. Um, but like my dash thing, it's not carbon fiber, but like the this print of it almost looks like it is. So you see how it matches? Yes, and then I got my um, black rugs. You can see them now, all black. Okay. This girl behind me, she's taking her, um, where she goes? She's taking her driver's test right now. Oh, I remember those days when I was testing to get my license. The lady was just walking around the car talking about right sim uh your right turn signal left turn signal the girl was looking flustered like uh, uh, girl just relax you got this it was easy when i did mine girl i parallel park that was my first time parallel parking and i did it like nothing like it was a breeze i was actually really impressed with myself i don't know why i didn't pr i think i did practice before but i always like sucked at it so when i went to take my test i expected to do bad but i parallel parked so good I think my mom said that when she took her driving test, like when she got her license, um, they she told them like, I don't know how to parallel park, so don't even ask me. I think that was her who told me that. She's like, I don't even know how to parallel park, so don't even ask, like, it's not happening. <laughs> but she got her license, whoever it was. I think it was my mom. Mom, was that you? Okay, so, um, just an update. I've been, I was at the DMV, you know, I got my little place in line. They said I got about 19 minutes until it's my turn. Um, I came across, I've been on the phone. I, I had a good, good conversation with one of my bestest, best buds, my home girl, uh, Cheyenne. And you guys, if you, if you need any, like, lock, anything, advice, if you need an appointment, a retwist, uh, she does, um, faux locks, she also does, they're called her love locks, and they're like, a like, permanent lock extension, she does all of that, and she's so good, um, and she's in the, in the DMV area, so if you guys are in, like, the Maryland, D.C. area, um, definitely follow her, um, her Instagram, it's pretty underscore loctician, <coughs> But she does the damn thing. So, yeah, I don't know how many of y'all live in that area or travel to that area. Um, but she's great. Great. Anyways, I just had, like, a real good conversation. We was on the phone for an hour, and I haven't talked to her in a little while. I mean, we communicate all the time on, like, Snapchat and everything. But we, uh, we got on the phone, and we just had a little good talk and everything. Um, and then I just went to, uh, Subway, so I got me some Subway, got me a little sandwich, and a Sprite, and I'm about to go over, drive, I'm right across the street from the DMV, so I'm about to just drive right back over there, and at least, like, you know, eat my sandwich in the car or the parking lot, so that way, like, when it's my turn, I can just run up inside or whatever. But, um, yeah, that's what today is consisting of. I really, I really, really, really want to get my windows tinted, but I'm, like I said, I'm gonna hold off until I have, um you know, somebody who can pick me up so I don't got to sit there and wait for my car to be done. This backup camera is, I'm still getting used to it, y'all, but it's kind of cool, like, not having to wrench my neck back around there and everything. But yeah, that's all. I'm about to head back over to the DMV and eat my little sandwich. Y'all, I can tell you the last time I had Subway. I get, um, what is it called? The spicy Italian footlong. Um, that's that there. It's like salami um pepperoni and another type of meat provolone cheese bell pepper light lettuce black olives and tomatoes salt pepper oregano and ranch it'd be so good mm, 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 mm. Ooh, this is i texted them to see like what my eta was sorry it's loud i'm right by the road but I'm getting my uh, old license plates out from my trunk just in case they need them. 
I think they'll need, I think I have to surrender my old place since I'm going to be requesting new ones. So I'm getting those, but I'm about to, I said I had three minutes until it was my turn. So I'm just about to go inside now and just sit inside. I already finished eating my sandwich. I was just watching YouTube videos. So I figured I can do that while I'm there. So I don't have to like, you know, try to run up to the window before, you know, my time is up. All right, we are done at the DMV. I went ahead and paid my little registration. I got my little plates ordered. So they shall be in. Um, I think she said, she said sometimes they come as early as 30 days, but they should be here before 60 days. So that's exciting. I cannot wait to have my little plates. My little, uh, what are they called? Not, they're personalized, my personalized plates. My car is gonna be so special. I just really like, I don't know, when I get stuff, I like to make it. I don't like to be driving around looking like everybody else at the same time like, you know I'm not driving around in no like lime green car where people like can see me from a distance But you know, I just like little personal touches just little things that Just make it unique and you know, that's why I was excited to get my my little steering wheel cover and just you know Little things to spruce it up a bit Ooh, Excuse me. Um, so it's 2 13 now I really want to go home and do my hair, but I just feel like I should be more productive, like not productive, but I just feel like there's other stuff that I need to do. I wish my friends were off so I can go drop this car and get these windows tinted. Ah, shoot. I said I was going to call the insurance. Let me, I need to call it, um, my part, my renter's insurance. Hold on. Okay. I got that out the way. And not that it like was a lot to do. It's just like one more thing to do, you know? But I got that out the way. I'm about to head home. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna go out and about and do anything else for today. I'm probably just gonna uh, put on something to watch and then start retwisting my hair because it is getting real fuzzy under this. Uh, but I'm trying to, you know, keep it, I guess not keep it fuzzy, but let it do its thing so the hair can lock and everything. But, um,. Yeah, I, I just wanna, you know, be looking looking good, looking right when I finally decide to take this do-rag off in 20 years. <laughs> okay, this is the last I'm gonna say about the whole car nonsense, but I think I figured out, like, you know, what the feeling was. Like, cause I was saying, like, you know, once I sold my car, I was like, real relieved or whatever, but now, like, I just pulled up to my house and I'm just like sitting in the car and I'm enjoying it a lot differently, especially now that I registered it, I sold my other car, like, it now feels like this is my car. Like, before, I felt like I'm driving around into this car, but this car is the resort, is the reward for when I finally finish with the other car. And so I felt like that was my other, that was my car and this was like a loner. But now, like, I just pulled up, and I'm sitting in, and I'm just looking around, and I'm like, this is me. Like, this is my new car. Like, the, the, like this is, I don't have, a, I'm not attached to any other vehicle. You know, I don't got to worry about paying no other insurance. Like, this is, this is my priority now. I need to focus on this and paying this off and all of that. I don't know, I, which is obvious, but it's just, like, I couldn't, it, like, really pinpoint what the feeling was like of the relief that I felt like finally I sold that and I got it off my chest but now it's like I can actually enjoy this car like you know I've been giddy or whatever about it but like I haven't really like enjoyed it and nestled in like yes this is like my car this is me I can you know it's all mine like it never it doesn't it doesn't fit it it felt like it was someone else's car and it's definitely a mental thing because nothing has changed it's still the same car but now that I've gotten all of that out and closed that chapter now, now, mentally, it just feels like, you know, this is mine. My car. I love it. I love it so much. Mm -mm.